Welcome, in this session we will be considering CCA 175 problem scenario number 13. So let's go to the simulator and see what exactly 13 scenario is asking for. So just add change here. So you have been given the database uh, information again. So this is group related problems. Uh, you can copy the relevant uh, content from here as well. Okay, so what uh, it is asking is import the department table. So now we have to import the only one table using the customer custom boundary query uh, which import department between 1 to 25. So we have to use the where clause while importing the data uh, for the particular tables and also make sure enable files is partitioned in two files part 0 and 0, 0 and 2. So here it's 2. Okay, so it's 3 won't be there. Okay, also make sure you have imported only two columns from the table. So we have to import the selective columns not the entire table we are going to uh, import. So which are the department ID and department name. So let's go ahead and solve this problem okay so now this is the problem create clean the HDFS file system if they exist and clean it out so I would suggest you clean the table uh, if there is Hadoop FS RM hyphen R departments tables if there is any table exist okay so that will clean it out if the directory exists if not then that's great so it is saying no such file or directory so to clean it out so once it is clean it out we have to use the scoop import now we are going to import single table so we are using the import statement instead of import all tables and connection string to jdbc connection string username of the database password and table so department tables we are going to import it and what is would be the target directory user cloud and department state so number of mappers would be two because they are they are asking two partitions so then the boundary query is the query which will be used like uh, this query is like you can see select 1 to 25 from departments this query is like there's not a where clause exactly correct so this is the boundary query they are asking you to use the boundary query so how to use the boundary query is like you need to know the minimum value of your department id to the maximum value of your department id so the first element is the minimum value of your department id and the second value is the maximum value of the department id and then only select the columns using the hyphen hyphen columns uh, statement comma separated column name okay so we are importing only two column okay so then we'll check the important data so let's go our cleanup should be done okay so we are done with the cleanup so just copy and paste this command and then run it i hope it should work let's just press enter and let it get run i think it's a single table so it should not take longer time and if until and unless there is an error okay so let's go and uh, check the what is next part it just to verify this okay and meanwhile i want to suggest you please subscribe youtube channel wherever you are watching this video so you will get notified sorry repeating i am repeating the same thing in each video but i need to do this to reach as much as uh, learners they can uh, have get the benefit out of this okay uh, let it get finished so we are not using any compression here nothing else so this is again uh, use uh, learn as much as options like relevant to cc175 we will try to as much as possible this is the best thing actually you are really doing the hands on here so you are learning the things it's not just memorizing the multiple choice questions however it makes your exam little difficult uh, to clear but uh, it's good both way uh, okay and uh, it has more credibility in the market if you really do the hands on okay so now let's go and we verify this go to the department directory so nothing special we have done it just change the options as per requirement so we need to understand the boundary option so two partitions here and uh, if we can go inside the partitions and check the content inside the partition okay one of the partitions so we are checking the first partitions so this is the comma separated first two columns have been imported so that's all about the sessions and thanks thanks for watching i want to keep the session as short as possible so you, you won't get bored with that uh, just to simply i would suggest you do your own hands-on as much as possible so this is just to help you how to run and how to execute the each problems thanks thanks for watching